of Science and Technology in China. <coughs> and uh, I was just uh, checking from uh, which department he came from. And uh, he says he's got a bachelor's degree in mathematics. And he was interested in food dynamics, of course, which was very good to my heart. And, but then uh, it's the department's name is the Department of uh, Gifted Youth. <laughs> so, uh, you don't have names, <laughs> but uh, in any case, we're going to find out whether if you pass this exam, you belong to that department. <laughs> um, uh, Chichi, uh, is, uh Dissertation in, I think, in a very, very important area in computational science. It's a very uh, emerging area, area of uncertainty quantification. <coughs> uh, because of the various advances that have been made in terms of computer hardware, algorithms, etc., I think uh, computational scientists are beginning to ask the question how we could quantify actually the uncertainties uh, in, in the numerical outputs. Especially in the cases of uh, multi physics uh, problems that we are interested in engineering, uh, this becomes of uh, paramount importance. This <coughs> question of uncertainty quantification. And uh, Chichi has, uh, is, I believe, the first student in this area <coughs> that is uh, graduating, uh, hopefully, will graduate. <laughs> 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 I uh, would like to. Uh, Recognize the members of the uh, reading committee. Uh, the committee, I believe, is chaired by uh, uh, Professor Papa Nicola uh, from the math department. Uh, uh, Chichi's co advisor is uh, Gianluca Iacarino, <coughs> and uh, uh, Professor Saberi and Jamison are the other two readers. I also like to recognize Professor Lele here and uh, Professor uh, Peter Blin, the director of the Institute for Computational Mathematical Engineering, the president today. So, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Professor Moy, for your introduction. <coughs> so, uh, welcome, everyone, and thank you. Thank you for coming to the open session of my oral defense today. Uh, my name is Chi Chi Wang. Uh, I work in the Center for Children's Research in Stanford. Uh, I'm a student in the Institute of Computational and Mathematical Engineering. And uh, I have a, uh, I'm supposed to get my PhD <coughs> in aeronautics and astronautics. So, the title of my talk today is Uncertainty Quantification for Unsteady Fluid Flow Using Adjoint Based Approaches. So, uncertainty quantification is a very important topic. That is because uh, if you have a predict sim predictive simulation, you have to have a quantified uncertainty. Uh, a computer simulation is useless <coughs> without an estimation of how much uncertainty it produces. For example, if you are designing an aircraft, if you use a computational fluid dynamics tool to predict the performance of an aircraft, without a quantified uncertainty, you, you don't know how much you can trust the simulation result. On the other hand, if you can estimate how much uncertainty it produces, you can either uh, refine the simulation if you think the uh, uncertainty is too much, or you can make decisions based on the simulation if you think the uncertainty is acceptable. Because uncertainty quantification is very important, uh, when I came to the Center of Turbulence Research three years ago, I was given the mission of quantifying uncertainty in this very large, very modern simulation. <laughs> so at that time, they have the uh, very impressive capability of simulating an entire jet engine. You can see that it's very complex geometry, rotating, and turbulent reacting flow. So it is uh, the state of art at that time, and it is still the state of art today. But there is uh, one most important problem in this simulation we recognize, is the lack of uncertainty quantification. So there are a lot of uncertainties in this huge simulation. From the English boundary condition to the uh, RAN simulation we use in the compressor and turbine to the larger simulation we use in the, uh, in the compressor in the, and the uh, chemical reaction models we use to simulate the burning of the fuel and to the heat transfer and there are certainly geometric uncertainties in representing this uh, complex and huge thing. So, 
So we need to quantify the uncertainty in this simulation to make it really useful. So how do we quantify the uncertainties? We characterize, first of all, we characterize how the uncertainties come from. For example, the immediate boundary condition, the turbulence models, etc. And we describe these uncertainties as randomness. We describe them as random variables. And so we give distribution functions, etc., of these random variables, random fields, and random processes that defines the source of function. Then we propagate these uncertainties through the simulation. That is, we first define our objective functions, for example, the thrust and emission produced by the jet engine. And we quantify, uh, we analyze how these objective functions behave as these random variables change it. Therefore, we can uh, propagate the uncertainty to the sources of, uh, to the, from the sources to the objective functions and give a distribution function of the objective functions instead of just numbers. Okay, so in our example, in the simulation of a large turbine engine, we have specific challenges in quantifying the uncertainty. And this is because the simulation is very computationally intensive. And we are resolving uh, the turbulence flow here, and it's also time dependent. So each simulation may take like one week or weeks in a huge parallel computer. So it is very computationally intensive. And also, we, because we describe uh, uncertainty using random variables, we have to have a lot of random variables.